Hey guys, and welcome back to Shimagami Tensei 5. And in this part, we'll explore Mita Tabashi in hopes of finding Lamu. We still ain't found him. What the crud? But before we get to that, I do actually want to do some backtracking and, well, prepare a new demon fusion. In between episodes, I did take care of that Mothman capturing quest, but I don't actually want to turn it in right away because that might make us a little overleveled. As if I wasn't already overleveled, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna return here to the container yard and track down Anaga real quick. I fell in the hole. I, I, that was not supposed to happen. All right, yeah, let's find the Naga. One arm wrestling contest later, we now have Naga by our side and can start this special fusion. Now, to do this fusion, I legitimately now need more room because, man. Just what we got right now wasn't cutting it, so uh, I feel kind of bad for ditching Neko <laughs> Shogun last episode. But hey, we can get him back. It's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and purchase Divine Garrison 3, which actually gives us two extra demon slots. It's very nice. But as you can see, yeah, the prices of this just increase so much. I ain't made a glory, dang it. There's a lot of miracles I still got to get. But yeah, to perform this specific special fusion, I actually need a new demon. So for the first time in this series, I'm pretty sure we're gonna use the compendium to re-summon demon to our side. And uh, yeah, now with these two in our party, Naga and demon, we can make Xuan Wu, the uh, boss we fought a couple episodes ago. As far as uh, skills go, I mean, I'll just, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> this uh, demon we're going to get it's pretty good. Pretty much has everything we could ask for. And for convenience sake, I will uh, be resummoning Naga from the compendium. If you're short on cash, though, definitely just, uh, you know, go get another. But Sophia will remark that we've unlocked a new special fusion. Anahita can now be fused. And uh, yeah, I really like the way they did the special fusion system in SMT5. Like, the relevant demons... They make sense. Even if I have to like bend the rules up a little bit, like, okay, mermaid, you know, swims in water, makes sense. Shwenwu was in the same area as Anahita. Naga, I, I I got no clue, but uh yeah. I wanna make this demon. Because, well, she's pretty good and has uh, decent support skills, as well as hellish spurt. It's just legitimately a good move. And uh being able to drain ice is pretty good. It is true, Jack Frost can already do that, but she has a lot of staying power, and god dang, that compendium price. Yeesh! But, uh, might as well show the special fusion. It's pretty much the identical animation. I've yet to encounter a fusion error while watching the, uh, special fusion animation. I don't know if that has a new animation, because I honestly don't want fusion accidents. They stinky. I got one yesterday. I was trying to make a Chiro, and I got, <laughs> I got the paper guy. I didn't want the paper guy. I had to reset the recording. It was a pain, but uh, yeah, I plan to try to showcase as many special fusions as I can. But as I've mentioned before, they're just so goddamn expensive. It's a little tricky, but they are legitimately cool demons. And it's neat we're getting to see three demons combined now. That's new. Three balls instead of two. Don't take that out of context. But here's Anahita, everybody. I'm sure she's uh, popular with a certain demographic of my fan base, but yeah, her model in 3D is really cool. I like when she attacks with the panels, and uh, she's very strong. We're going to use her for pretty much almost the entirety of this next area. There are also some hints at uh, future special fusions, but uh, we'll have to get to those when we get to those. We're still not done here in the World of Shadows, though. Uh, now that we do have access to an additional skill slot, I think it would be a good idea to buff up our main character with, where is he? Ah, yes, Barith's uh, skill, Bloody Glee. Really no reason not to do this. Simply put, it's just a passive skill, which increases your critical hit chance. It's very nice. As you imagine with a physical build, I want to crit almost always. So when we're not getting, you know, crits with Omogati critical, now our chances are boosted. All around, critting, good, no duh. And now that we've taken okay. care of that, let's see. Hmm, I haven't fully decided yet. Yeah, I think it'd be in our best interest to actually backtrack a little bit and hit up this new quest marker that just suddenly appeared. How strange. What a surprise. I, uh, guess we should 
Hmm. How do I do this? E yeah, we don't need Oni for this fight. So, this is the next chain in the uh, Fiend quest. More or less, it is uh, just like a quest line that continues for the whole game, and I have to remember how to crud to get up there. So, to get to this Fiend, simply just find where Kaya is out in the wild, and then just climb up this skyscraper. I really do like this concept, though, the fact that there's just these optional bosses you can fight just whenever the heck you want and get extra glory, as well as other fusions. It's cool, but, uh, hope we're ready for this fight. I think our party's good enough. I didn't really specifically fuse to beat this guy, but I guess we'll have to see what happens. All things are destined to come to an end. Life gives way to death, creation to destruction. Look upon this land. Having already perished once before, it now struggles to maintain even its own existence. Of course, such unfortunate circumstance can be remedied. Let us discover whether you are worthy to know such secrets. Fiend number two, the oldest and one of the most powerful demons. You have to go on my tier list, I guess. Die, Sojo. And he's, well, a mummified monk. And uh, yeah, he's back in SMT5. Do I really have any uh, words to praise with this guy? Not really. His boss fight is more or less just spamming Mudo, and I'm pretty sure Chihiro's weak to Mudo. That's bad, but we can get around it because, well, we have his weakness, and really, we're in a good position right now. We're only a level lower than Dao Saojo, and that didn't do a lot of damage. That's a problem, but he'll get his MP back a little bit at least, but hey, at least now we get to see um just how powerful she can be. Uh, might as well go for a Hellish Spurt. She has tons of MP, and... Yeah, it's the same attack as the uh, boss fight, but I like it. It's nice. He's neutral on ice damage, so we can totally go for that. As far as, like, Mahama goes, though, you might think, oh, man, might as well, right? He's like an undead dude. Well, the thing is, he specializes in, well, Hama and Mudo damage, so that would actually be a bad idea. How would you know that? You don't. It's just trial and error, but, uh, gosh, I really love the background of these fiend battles all the lightning strikes and the fact that like oh he's already doing it crap okay um and the fact that our arena is actually in the world where we saw him you see the sand is actually different than the matador battle so when he uses his omogatiki skill it's a bit of a tricky one because he's going to use meditation which does almighty damage but he does have a chance to use mamudo if that happens we'll cover ourselves with dark dampeners and uh yeah this is really just the boss fight He's not too terribly powerful. Just kind of whittling him down. I uh, think I will double up on our Tarakaja though. It is, oh no, she has Rakuna too? I didn't even realize that when I made her. All right, all right, Anahita, okay. We uh, now are getting some pretty strong support demons. It's really just all coming together because we have access to uh, just so many more skill slots. Demons can start filling different uh, roles in the party much more easily. Eh, we're okay on HP. I really can't... Uh, I, it's just so annoying. <laughs> God dang it. I can't say it enough how useful um, Beatdown is. Just It might seem a little silly to have three different attacking moves, but they all legitimately function in different times and different places. They're nice. I could also um try and lower Dasaojo's agility. I don't know how fast he is. I mean, he's just floating. Yeah, we're fine. He's uh not too terribly tough. We'll just keep casting Gas Fire Rain. I love the name of that. A lot of unique skills today. Uh, the newer demons have them for the most part. There are a few classic SMT designs with uh, the same animations that are as flashy, but uh, those are a little few and far between. I guess they're sort of doing a bit of favoritism with that, but it's like you can't really blame them. Like the classic SMT designs have been around for so long. They're uh, skeletons, as far as a programming turn goes. <laughs> Not really uh, as up to date as the others, but I think Tassaujo looks pretty good. Kind of brought into. Oh, he got instantly killed. Alright. That's a bummer. At least he's not stealing all of our MP. 
I like that. You F and turd. All right, uh, that sucks. I can just on Ahita's turn to uh, heal, I suppose. Oh, snap, here's an idea. Um, Do I have anybody that blocks darkness? Yeah, Mana Nagal, okay, okay. So we're just going back to our same strategy with uh, Matador a little bit here, but I legitimately didn't think this guy would cause me so much trouble. I'm going to extend our defense down with Toxic Spray. I'm, I'm, it missed, but like we still get the defense down, so that's a really nice skill to have. Diorama though, the next tier of heals. Ooh, the angels don't just have it now. We also have it, which I'm a big fan of. I think I'm just gonna charge on the main character for the rest of our turn. Um, <laughs> I really didn't have any notes for this guy, but he's surprisingly like durable, despite the fact that he's kind of like a mummy and all that, but at least we're seeing Mahama. Oh, my God. Um. Down she goes. So, so much for Mana Nagal. All right. We have our Omogatsuki skill. Might as well just burn it. I, uh... God dang. I heard you talking crap about my prowess. Sorry, that's out, Joe, but... Yeah, get out of here. Our main character is, uh, by far still just our strongest demon, but, uh... Yeah, could have done better there. Sadly, Chiro didn't get any EXP towards his, like, best skill. Bummer. Oh, well. It seems you are worthy. Well done. Yes, well done indeed. Fiend, Daisojo. Status, eliminated. That monk mentioned this world had met its end once before. What could he have meant by that? No clue, bro, but like, he also told us, he would tell us the secrets of the universe or some crap, and he didn't tell me, Jack, he didn't tell me anything. What a liar. I hate his guts, but uh, we will be handsomely rewarded with a little boost to our maka, so it wasn't all in vain. I do think it's also a good time to take care of another optional fight, so I'm going to add Jack Frost back into our party, and now I think it's a good time to try and assist that Nekomata who wanted the fish back in the uh, container yard. We can absolutely destroy this quest now. Like, I'm not even remotely scared. I think I said we'd, like, get unbelievably crushed, and I don't know what I was th I fell in the hole again! Ugh! This is so... Dude, take your time. But who puts, who puts an empty window there? Okay, it's my fault. I recognize that, but I can still be tilted about it. Anyway, Moshuvu kind of hinted towards this earlier. I'm going to pick up some crystals, though, because I don't know how well we're going to do. Anahita and Jack Frost cannot take any damage here. I mean, they can, because he has physical attacks, but, I mean, come on. His name's King Frost, dude. Like, you know how to beat him. You're a smart person, right? I hope so. No, you definitely are if you're watching this video, but... Hello, sir. Oh, no. Can I have a fish? He ho it's quite the hardship to keep such a vast land cold. Well, I understand your life's hard, but hey, can I have a fish? The cute cat, uh... Hee-ho! Do you dare intend to take what is mine, ho? However, my dead subjects, I, King Frost, will protect the fish. Hee-ho! Okay. I thought it was a reasonable request, but that's right, we're doing back-to-back. Many bosses and uh the not hope know does not have max MP. I don't think it'll matter. We got this crud, yo. King Frost. He has access to a pretty honestly deadly skill, but uh I don't think he's gonna use it. We already have two demons on our side that are resistant. No, they don't just resist it, they completely nullify all ice damage. Unfortunately for us though, King Frost, he's kind of a He's got that bulk, you know what I'm saying? He's built, you know? He goes to the frost locker. I don't, I don't know what to, <laughs> a gym pun for <laughs> a snowman, but he has a ton of HP. He's very durable, but we can outlast him. If we buff and debuff, that is. We're pretty much, once again, just using uh, the main character as our anchor, like in the Dao Saojo fight, and just hoping we get crits, and they will most likely do a bunch of damage. We, uh, don't have to worry about healing Jack Frost, though, because the enemy's doing that for us. 
What a guy. But, um, now that we have Bloody Glee, it would be interesting if we could land critical hits outside of Omogatsuki Critical. So I'm gonna fish for those, but they didn't get it. And yeah, this is a boss fight where I'm technically a level higher. I really gotta say, one of the major challenges, which I did not expect for an SMT5, you know, walkthrough, is making sure we are the appropriate level to make the fights difficult. Like, I swear, this is a really dumb complaint. It's not even a complaint. It's co it's completely unreasonable, and I know that, but man, I wish more RPGs let us, like, level down, because that makes videos pretty easy, but what can I say? I, I had to, like, actually try to get as little EXP as possible on that Mothman quest. Like, I'd kill the Mothman and the other demons in the party, right? You, dude, use your brain. God dang it. I'm trying to help you. Jeez. Um, I would, like, try and negotiate with them so they would not join me. It was a mess. But, uh, eh, we did all right, I suppose. But, uh, back to the actual boss fight. It really is just this on repeat until he gets his Omogatsuki skill, which we're obviously going to dampen her with that. So, need to extend the uh, defense down at some point, though. Not whole Bino not having a lot of MP right now. Kinda sucks. So what are we gonna do about that? Uh, other than just keep charging. Charge is actually, it's not ideal, right, to only do double damage, but it does really reduce the amount of um, MP you have to spend on just your normal attacks. Like, think about it. If a normal attack costs 40 MP, right, heaven forbid we ever get to that point. Could you imagine? Uh, if you use charge, you're pretty much getting a huge discount, but, uh, I never realized. I taught my Jack Frost Berserker God too. Crazy. Huh. Anyway, uh, here comes the uh, big ice attack, which, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I do need a dampener for. Could potentially one shot the main character, and I just could not handle that, so uh, just gotta be extra careful. I'm gonna start abridging some of the animations, though, just so we can get the heck out of here and get to the cool part of this episode, but gosh, he just ain't going down. Maybe I should have fused somebody different. And eh, ain't no problem. Let's get some uh, Zio action in there. We're pretty close to our Omogatsuki skill. I thought I picked up some Makatsuhi crystals on the way, but I guess I didn't. Ma bad. Oh, dumb. No. Oh, I don't have enough MP now. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. This is not smart, and I recognize that. But I'm going to use the chakra drop. MP recovery. Very scarce. D definitely full heal before you do this fight, okay? What can I say? I'm going to rush. Hence me falling into a bunch of holes in this episode, but yeah, he didn't use his signature attack there, and I'm honestly cool with it, so you'll see it eventually. It's called King Bafula. You know, Jack Bafula just lower defense for one target, but King Bafula hits it on everybody. It's a little on the scary side, but you know what? We're on the scary side too, so <laughs> God, we're gonna be hitting four digits before I know it, man. It's honestly kind of tempting, but uh, yeah. There's not a lot to say about this guy. You can really honestly take him on very early and do all right. I just don't get it, right? Is Lilum? Lilum has to be weak to... Yeah, she's weak to ice! And he just kept going for Jack Frost! Come on, man! A king should be intelligent. Just saying. All right, we'll end this off in uh, style. Boy, give me that fish! Oh man, we ain't... Oh, no, we did kill him. There we go. I was expecting the uh, big flashy ending, but... uh. Yeah, Anahita really helps us out in this fight. Hey, we got some chakra drops back. Not bad. Anywho, um, what about now? I was defeated. No matter. I'll never let you. He have the fish. They belong to my friend, ho. Dang. But dude, look, come on. So we have an option here. Finish him and take the fish or let him go. <laughs> Come on, man. He's helping out his he homie. Yeah. I understand. Friends come first. He honestly? You are not in need of the fish hoe? Hmm. Yeah. The warehouse keeper who gave me shelter is long gone, ho. In my coldest parts, I think I must have he have already known that, ho. Sorry for the sudden offensive. How about I share some of the fish with you? That sounds like a good compromise. So the king was just taking care of this place for his long-lost human friend, I guess. You know, he was always so happy I kept the warehouse cold for him, huh? So I shall keep frosting it, and he hold the fish safe and sound within. Is that what's in his, like, little chassis here? Like, is it... It's a bunch of fish? 
Maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the end of that little quest line. And I think we might... No, I'm pretty sure you can make King Frost regardless. I'm not sure. But yes, he's also a demon you confuse, and he's really good. And my god. Nekomata, what's up? Well, well, did you find any fish? Yeah, here you go. The salmon. Good choice, by the way. We have so much in common. We really should get some. Oh, god, she gave me the beast talisman. F yeah. This one is uh, Magatsuhi skill adversity. The lower your HP, the more damage you do. It's very uh, difficult to pull that off, but it's a viable strategy. If you have the skill endure, that is. Thank you. The job is finished. I see. So the warehouse was chilly because of King Frost making it cold. Now you mention it, I do remember hearing about a human saved a snow fairy from melting a long time ago. So he kept at it, even after becoming a king. What a faithful snowman. Anyway, thanks. I haven't had fish in ages. And there it is. Yeah, we, we can now fuse King Frost. I don't know why Nekomata is in charge of that. Legitimately. Uh, fishing forever, so excited. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that out of the way now. Uh, that's mostly everything I want to take care of in this area. It is true. We still have that kaiju to take out, but pff, I ain't doing that crap. So let's head back to where we were and check out that new area. With Daiso Joe out of the way, I guess we can do another... Was that really a good deed? I don't know. Given the cat girl salmon, though, that was definitely nice. But let's uh, keep the hero act going. This little Jack Frost over here needs our help. In short, this is another pseudo-generic quest, but... Boy, is it he hot here? If I'm not careful, I'm gonna melt away, ho. Couple hand he items can keep that in check, though, ho. You got the time. Mind he helping me look for him? Uh, yeah, dude. Why not? I hate for a mascot character to... He doesn't timely end. Look at his little antenna things moving. That's so cute. Oh, God, just noticed that. Much appreciated, ho. Ice gems are what I need. Please bring three of them, ho. On the double. Hey, don't get pushy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Any luck finding those ice gems, ho? Yeah, I got them. We're pretty close. Oh, we are capped, actually, so no problem handing these over. Hee hooray! It's thought I could keep me cool for a while, ho. Ah, I'm so happy. I want you to have this in return. He'll fork over. A muscle drink. Yeah. It's good healing, but has a side effect, so you gotta watch out for that. If you drink it too fast, your tummy will hurt, but no, it actually has like an in-game side effect. Having lots of ice jam sure is re reassuring. Oh, keep on coming. I'm a ridiculous character to read for. You can repeat that quest again if you desire, but just like the other generics, it's just for more. Muscle drinks. Not too great. There are a couple of uh, things I might as well grab around here, though. What can I say? I want to be thorough. But, uh, yeah. The uh, just uh, Honestly, the real answer is I love just teasing you guys. I do. I know you see the yellow thing on the map, and you're like, what the? T what is that? What? Go to it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We got, we got, to we got, to <laughs> we got to pointlessly fiddle with the menu. We gotta do this. The cat girl needs her food, dude. I gotta do that. It just does not matter. Weren't we supposed to be finding Lamu? Yeah, that's kind of the whole point, so we should probably get to that. As I thought. I, Fionn McCool, shall test your strength. Well! That came out of nowhere! What the heck, Algami? I thought this was your job! Finn McCool just comes out of nowhere and wants to do battle. And what can I say? We gotta fight back or we're doomed. Finn starts 
at level 32, and chances are you might not be that level when you first get here. I know I wasn't. And given this guy just comes out of nowhere, not even Algami can cont like, detect him. He's bad news. Also bad news. We really don't want Anahita out, but I cannot sacrifice the turns to pretty much move her. Um, This battle legitimately is a difficulty spike, but we should be okay. We do have uh, the essence of Shiki Yoji. His weakness is Zeo, and if you didn't get Lilums, uh, good luck. I really cannot think of a better demon for this fight, but uh, yeah, he hits hard. Really hard, and he just, he even buffs. Yeah, he is not a joke. You're joking. Okay, that did way more damage than even I thought. Um, Luckily, we do have a healer now in Anahita, which um should help out. But here's the thing about him. His agility stat, not super hot. I know you can't see it, but I know it. So, as long as we just hope and pray that his physical attacks continue to miss. I might as well go for the crit. We might be able to get it. Nah, we didn't get it. Dang it. Um, You should be okay. I honestly want to use another blinding strike. Not for the damage. Just the ability to uh, keep our combos going with... Uh, to start damage. I'm really just do not want to lose to this guy. I don't want to do it over again. I'll be honest. He's given me a lot of trouble in practice. After like saying, King Frost such a pushover. That's such a so lame. Now Finn, Finn McCool is pretty tough. In case you're curious on his origins though, he is a Celtic hero who, oh, no, 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 no. No, the lore will have to wait. Makaloon is, ah, what? A severe physical attack. You're, I got him. I gotta restart. No, come on, I don't have time for that to ah! Okay. Well, I got what I wanted, I guess. Holy crap. Um, In case he does that again, let's actually just... I really needed the healer, man. Crap. Let's just swap in Oni, have him use Taunt. You know the strat. I can't believe he didn't miss. What's up with that? I really should have prioritized Harakaj on the Lilum in hindsight, but hey, we're learning on the fly. If you level up your um Shiro a bit more though, you can get access to his strongest skill, which buffs the entire team's defenses and agility in combination with his base agility already being really low you can sort of pseudo dodge tank this boss but that is not a reliable strategy so i'm not using it but let's extend our defense down just hope he does not use his big sword skill again he oh you messed up i can't believe he got he got tripped up by noni oh wait i can't believe that because he's not the fastest guy but uh god he looks so cool i'm sorry <laughs> it's just such a great design but i think Sakanagi's technically more damage. Yeah, I don't think he resists physical attacks. I don't honestly know how to explain that, but our strategy's pretty much going to be the same for a majority of fights. Uh, just keep hitting him and hope he doesn't dodge. That's pretty much it. We don't have like all oh, like Zio like using your. Actually, I do have uh, Mana Nagal with Zio, but uh, Zionga should be enough to carry us for the win. Uh, our defense is getting reverted next turn, so that's good. I guess we'll just keep charging. I'm a little concerned about our MP going down. He is also a pretty resilient guy. He uh, also has access to Dark Sword. Okay, that's bad. Um, That can apply a silencing effect to like the target. And if that gets on Lilum, or your healer, or really anybody, it's bad. But uh, yeah, with his Magatsu, he's skill fully charged. He will go for a fire-based move. I guess the uh, rash rationale for that is he actually got his powers by eating the fat of the salmon of knowledge. You can't make this crap up, man. I mean, you could, but that's that's real Celtic lore. It sounds a little silly. I'm not trying to. Hey, I'm trying to offend nobody. I'm just saying the salmon of knowledge. How fitting. We just gave a salmon <laughs> to a. Uh, Nekomata and all that, but yes, Maragi on. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it can hurt, like, a lot. I think I actually call that skill Maragi, no, Maagi Lao in the last episode, which is technically incorrect, but we have our skill now, uh, fully charged. I also misspoke. Dude, Omogatsuki does have an English parallel. It would just be like the equivalent of the witching hour, but that's technically not accurate because, uh, eh, you can go for this, I guess. Um, the Witching Hour is like a different point in time, but uh, same general idea, so there you go. But really, once you realize in SMT5 that you have four press turns, the enemy for the most part almost routinely has two, you just play your cards right. Most battles can just be won by your team composition alone, and 
Oh, he's feeling down. Well, here's more damage. Oh, my God. I'm uh just happy we don't have to see his like special attack again. I legitimately don't have a strategy against that, except dodge. I guess you could alternatively use a uh, taunt on Oni to uh, just force him to hit a target that doesn't uh or that has a resistance to physical. But uh, that's not a super reliable like reliable because he could probably just kill Oni pretty fast with uh, specifically Makaloon, and he's going for it again. All right, I mean, a little late for that, dude. I guess he can only get it back so fast, but nah, I think we got him. You did a good, put up a good fight, man. But I'm the better swordsman. I didn't use my sword attack once, but you know what I mean. I kind of did. It's my thing. Listen, it doesn't matter. We win, he loses. Any questions? Stop, please. Oh? He's not a bad demon. He's my classmate. What does that mean? Ah. So you're attempting to rescue your friend from Lamu. I apologize for my hastiness. Although you can see how you played a part in it as well, I'm sure. When I saw a demon escorting a human on their own here, naturally I became very suspicious. We were sent by Bethel. Bethel. Ah, you mean the servants of that god. So, you're looking for the other humans. Oh, have you seen more people dressed like me? If you're referring to the students that the demons had abducted, I've already assisted them. Though, I admit I don't know whether or not that was all of them. They are at a fairy village southwest from here. The fairies there are sheltering them. A fairy village? Wonderful. Thank you so much. But heed these words. The demons of chaos, the forces of Lamu, are powerful foes indeed, and these lands are replete with them. Even Bethel's power cannot reach here. You would best serve yourselves by leaving quick as you can. That may be the case, but I need to help my friend. I understand. Then, please show an abundance of caution as you make your way. May we meet again. Should fate deem it so. We should tell Yuzuru about the fairy village. Maybe Miyazu is there. Okay, I've sent him a message. Hopefully he'll head there right away. We should get going as well. There are life readings coming from that village. I recommend we investigate. I think that's a good idea too. And yeah, that was... Finn McCool, the... What is that sound? Oh my god, that is horrifying. Jesus, anyway, uh, the thumbsucker of Celtic lore. I, uh, don't know if you could see it in the actual battle or anything, but his thumb is actually burned. I guess from the fat of the salmon, and he, like, kisses it, I guess, instead of sucking on it. <laughs> Honestly, that is probably for the best, but, uh, yeah, that was... A bit tricky. I honestly had a lot of fun, and I hope you did too. That's going to... I, I don't like the music that it cut out. It's weird doing the outro without any music. I guess the distant screams of whatever is up ahead will have to suffice. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode of Shin Megami Tensei 5, we explore this part of town and look for Lamu. He's still missing. How? Ugh. Anyway, see you then. Bye.